Hello, my pals. This is Happy Dying for a Thousand. Coming to you with another, another, another movie review for Spooktober. I'm reviewing the Vincent Price classic, The Last Man on Earth from 1950. It's from 1964. This film oh, is very interesting. Here's the plot Vincent Price is a, is a man on, on his own, own, trapped in a town full of nothing but monsters. Monsters that want to eat him. This time they're vampires, but this is based on the the, on the on the book I Am Legend, and the book itself has been adapted several times. And this this time being the first only only taken liberties taken with the name, name and also what they are are from what I hear. I haven't read the book, but I do know it exists, and that's the title. But basically, this is adapted three times. Well, Vincent Price's I sorry, Vincent Price's. This is this is the last man on earth, Charlton Heston's Omega Man, and Will Smith's I Am Legend. But anyway, and they all show the same plot. Uh, one thing I find interesting here is like when we see his, we see his origin, well, basically uh, origin his backstory, or, yeah, or about what his life was like before or the the vampire outbreak of the virus. And essentially, we see he has a daughter, a daughter and a wife, both succumb to the virus. Here is. He tries saving his daughter, daughter from being eaten with or where, being cremated and thrown off a cliff. If if by the gov by, by government soldiers, soldiers the one thing he's like, like I I must save my, I gotta find my daughter or she's she must be in here somewhere. Like the one the one, one soldier is like yeah mine is in here too. Ooh, ooh, and like seeing that like kind of like genuine I think, but essentially. Actually, um, I wonder about the about like the vampires. They sound drunk. Where it's like, like uh, we're coming to get you. If you, if you let us in. I want your your blood. Damn it! Uh, I'm not good at drunk like voice. I I never heard it, but I'm, I'm never good impression. This is what he sounds like. Uh. But um. We see, like, one thing I kind of interesting about this in the, the, the version, the contrast, is like there is a dog in here, in here, but luckily they don't don't do the douchebaggy thing of killing the dog on screen. And he realizes it's been affected, so we just did basically we just get <laughs> at him at Vincent Price as burying wearing a big a, a pillow sack, a sack with a wooden stake in it. That is much less as sad at at. Like seeing a dog die is always sad because it isn't. It's in like um, I'm not PETA, a typical sons. I am PETA of people eating tasty animals. <laughs> but even I think, but even I don't like seeing dogs die. But anyway, um, what is interesting with this film? Film is uh, is its ending. Like Will Smith just sacrifices himself from the I Am Legend version. Version version of his own his own movie, movie, but um, Vincent Price is just kind of hunted down, um, um, by by what remains of society, because they think is they think he's a vampire. I hear and like he's dying words like I truly am the last man, Ugh. and like we see like the one lady companion he had for a few, a few minutes of the movie. Basically, tries to comfort a crying baby. We're like, it's okay now. We're safe. Then the end. This was very entertaining. Anything very, very, very fun to watch. Um, I give a dinosaur approval, and I'll give it. Uh, I think I'll go with eight point seven out of ten. That's my review. Thanks for watching. Have a happy day, everyone, and uh, chomp chomp. Bye.